on to our quick hitters of the day. Arky, where are you starting with your quick hitter? Uh, college basketball, Central Michigan takes on Kentucky. Woo! And you think, wow, Arky, why would you pick a game with a 30-point spread and only going to get higher in favor of the Wildcats at home? I'll tell you why. Because it's an interesting matchup. And the matchup is John Calipari versus Tony Barbie. Tony okay. Barbie was part of the first ever recruiting class that John Calipari ever had at UMass. Interesting factoid there. They are the good fact. friends. So much so that Tony Barbie was on the staff for Kentucky before he got the Auburn job, got fired there, and then got back on the, the, the Kentucky staff. And he was literally the right-hand man for John Calipari while he was on that staff. These two guys are very, 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 very good friends and close confidants. Now, I tell you that because I don't like the number 30 here. Because I think Kentucky is a much, much better team. Central Michigan's bad. Like, their 1-3-1 one, one against the spread it includes a 50-plus point blowout loss to Gonzaga, for crying out loud. They lost by 30 to DePaul. DePaul's fine, but DePaul is not 30 points better than most teams are going to play this season. Uh, they lost to Division II, formerly Division II, Bellarmine uh, just a couple of games ago. So, uh, listen, Central Michigan's tough. They're not a good team right now. There's a reason Tony Barbie's the head coach. But I want to sit here and play the first half number. On this game. Because I think Kentucky is so good. They're so big. They're so long. Like Oscar Schwebe is like 6'9". And he's leading the country with like 16 rebounds a game. They're getting good guard play too. They're blowing teams out because of that. Uh, Severe Wheeler I think is number one in the country. When it comes to assists per game. He's averaging nearly 10 assists per game. For crying out loud. Like he is just dominating early on the season. I think you play the first half number here at 15. If you can get it 15, 16, I wouldn't get it if it gets to 20. You might want to get it now because I think it's going to keep going up. Get it now because I don't know if this number gets close in the second half. I think John Calipari calls off the dogs and say a 25, 26 point victory is plenty. So get the first half number, get it where you can obviously get the blowout early, and then let the second half sort of mingle where it's going to be because that might be the moment where a good buddy discount comes in for Tony Barbie and. John Calipari. So, I'm going to go minus 15 is what I've already played it at. It keeps going up. So, if you can get it under 20, go ahead and get that now, too, uh, for the first half of Kentucky and Central Michigan. Love that for you. Uh, quick, Really quickly, uh, what did you think of the Gonzaga-Duke game over the weekend, speaking of college basketball? Oh, it was a Final Four game. It was great. Awesome. It was tremendous, tremendous basketball. And to have that Friday night game go late, Oh, when I go late, but just go late on Friday. And then we woke up and got a college football playoff game uh, with, uh, with Michigan and, and Ohio State, like, early on. Like, it, it was great. It was super, super great to see that kind of sportage happen back-to-back -back like that. So, yeah, Gonzaga looked really good, but Duke, they proved to be better that night and finally knocked off the big dog. It was awesome. Yeah. All right, now for my quick hitter of the day, I'm headed to the NBA, the 9 and 10 Nuggets at the 3 and 7 Heat. Uh, Miami is the seven point favorite here with a total of 208. It has been a rough go for the Nuggets as of late. They have lost six straight, and I don't see that getting any better tonight. Unfortunately, they have been injury ridden, including Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and Nikola Jokic, who is day to day with that wrist injury, uh, but he is expected to play tonight. The last time these two teams faced each other, the Nuggets picked up a big win, but that was also when they were playing at full strength. Um, speaking of full strength, Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero are currently day-to-day -day for Miami. Butler leads the Heat in points, averaging 23 a game. So here's what I'm feeling for this one. Miami is 13-7 and against the spread. Denver is 7-2. and The Heat, however, have only covered the spread once this season as the seven-point favorite. Uh, I do think Denver is desperately looking to end this cold streak they are on, and what better way to do that than in Miami? Um, with Jokic playing, I kind of, I think I'm leaning Denver plus seven. I don't feel super confident about it. Um, will Miami win? Probably, but I'm taking my chances and I'm going with the dog. And if nothing else, hoping for a close game. This is probably my risk pick of the day, but with that said, I'm going to go Denver plus seven. Mm. <laughs> mm. Let's turn around the losing streak. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> I think you may have convinced me to play a little money on that. Okay. I like taking chances sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Hey, listen. What do they say? Scared money don't make money? Exactly. That's right. Don't be scared. Let's put the money down. Okay. Live on the edge. <laughs>